have no idea what the truth is. That's why we're out here, to give you the truth. Psalms chapter 119 verse 142. Breathe. Psalms chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Watch this. Hey, uh, go on Google, type, type the breakdown, vote, vote breakdown by category. Watch this. Do not let these white women fool you. Talking about, I vote for Trump in 2016, but I didn't vote for Trump in 2020. Listen, let me tell you something. 71 million people vote for Donald Trump. Yeah. I'm going to repeat that again. That's 5 million more than 2016. Donald Trump got the second, the most, the second, the, sec, the, the first, the president that with the second most vote in the whole history of the United States. As bad you think Donald Trump was, because all black people say Donald Trump is racist. Yes, is he racist? Yes. yes. But I want to know, I want to deal with somebody I know who's racist, then somebody I know who, who uh, you know, going to stab me in the back, I thought they're not racist. What do you mean? But what's so funny about this is, uh, is that the breakdown? I'm looking at it now. So, five million more vote this guy got. I think, I think Biden got 76 or 7 million vote. 76 million vote. And 68% of them is black women. Crazy. They saved democracy. Yeah. yeah. Black hey, women. Hey, yeah. And, he, and he appreciates your vote so much. The first order of business he's going to have is to handle LGBT. Yeah. 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 Way to go, guys. And the, and the black boys and girls that they don't get with that, they're going to murder them in the street. So... Clap your hands for yourself. <laughs> okay, you got it? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I think wow. that's it. Yeah, that shows men, women, white, black, yep. Hispanic, Latino, Asian, college graduates, and no college degrees for both Biden and Trump. Like what that. happened to it? Y'all putting it back on? All right, which one you want, Deep? Which side is uh Biden. Uh, I'm not gonna be a blue. So I, is it? It's, it's, I cannot see that. That has percentage. You have the numbers. Yeah, da, 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 da. Biden. I can't wait to see what happened. I hope Biden ruin a life like <laughs> Biden. Hey, Biden's not gonna live long enough to ruin nobody' life. He's gonna be, he's gonna be the so called. He's gonna be the so called black woman. But they have like rules and play for like if like if he unfit to hold the office, he ain't necessarily even gotta die. All he gotta do is get see now for sick about or something. Yeah, yeah, for like four mm -hmm. months. He, no, no. Come January, right after he's sworn in, he's gonna cut the corner. And you ever gonna hear from him again? Do you you wanna you finna knock a lot of people off with the Rona, huh? You you, you waiting <laughs> to see him on a respiratory deathbed? <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Hey, hey tell Keon, my mama I love her. Keep on while you while you get that, go to that last video of the family. It was like two seconds, two sentence minimums when you had the Rona. You can't speak but two words at a time. You gonna have to write I, it down. I, yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I've never. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't never know. I never have the one. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. We met. Yeah. We no, never, I don't want to, you know. Over here, we don't have yeah. the one over here, bro. Yeah, play, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's play this real quick. We've been homeless for like a while. Start it's from the still beginning. Hard. All right. Even though we've been homeless for like a while, it's still hard trying to adapt. Sometimes I do cry, or I'll like just sleep the whole day. Pause it and read it. Go back. 
Kaya and her sister Keela are some of America's. Come on. Hidden homeless. We're homeless because. We're oh well, she's reading it. We're homeless because my mom just been struggling because. My mom's just been struggling because she's a single parent, and it's really harder than people think. She could have had an arranged marriage. Kaya's mom could. lost her job and couldn't pay rent. I'm all right. Since then, they have been sofa surfing with family and friends. I'm homeless. I'm just not your typical what it looks like to be homeless. I have no home. I can't provide a home for my children right now, so this isn't my house. I live in a packed bag, and all my stuff is in there. I just keep it packed, because at this point, there's no reason to keep on packing it. That is stressful, but I've gotten used to it, so I guess it's really not mine anymore. All three of them live in one room. I have to sleep on the floor, and my, um, my sister and my mom sleep on the bed. I don't like living in other houses. I wish we had our own. I couldn't imagine living like this forever, and I don't want to live like this forever. The family is dependent on food banks. So today they have um, bananas, strawberries, pears, lettuce, and sweet potatoes. But even getting to the food bank is a challenge. We don't even own the car. We borrowed it from my mom's friend. What makes me the saddest about all this is saying my mom liked us. I try not to like show my feelings because I know it'll be overwhelming. I don't think I should have to carry these worries as a kid, but I just choose to. When I can see that like my mom feels like that, it makes me feel like that, then I start to like not blame it on myself, but feel like I wish like I could help, but I can't. So just like I feel like I stress myself out even though my mom tells me not to worry. Stuck in one room, lockdown is taking its toll on Kaya. Damn. When I'm trapped, I actually feel I actually am, I feel depressed, even though a kid shouldn't be depressed, but I feel like it really makes us depressed. When I feel that way, I actually, sometimes I do cry. I feel drained and dark. Sometimes they go to a friend's house and try to get some space. When I'm dancing, I feel like I can just like let all my emotions out and like like breathe and don't have to worry about anything else. In July, lockdown was lifted in Ohio, and Kaya's mom found work. Mom, I'm sorry, Kaya. Mom, about being able to start making making a little bit of money. She's doing good. She's doing really good. I just love her. I'm just kind of nervous and hope, hoping and praying that. We don't get shut back down because of this pandemic. That's way more kids like this is going through the same thing as we are. Because sometimes life just happens and things go the wrong way. And maybe you end up losing a job or something and it just doesn't go right. I just want us to be good and, and in a house. Just, just happy. Nobody would choose to be poor. Sometimes it may look like that, because sometimes people can just give up and accept it, but I don't think nobody would choose to be poor. It's not going to be easy at all, trying to meet my dreams. I feel like I'm going to have to work very hard and stay focused and be determined so I can get there. Uh, I'll stop. That's the end of it, though, but, hey, hey, you know... Again. When you pick this this morning cap, I didn't understand why you picked this. I don't like watching stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time we think that this stuff don't affect our children. Because mm -hmm. they, they didn't ask to be put you in that got, position. Yes, you got sisters like that in the truth. <laughs> you going from house to house to house to house to house with your children. And you don't think that's affected them. Mm. It's actually affected them. Mm -hmm. The mother, she she said she said, I'm 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 very uh, the, the 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 little girl say I'm stressed out. I'm not I'm not supposed to. She ain't supposed to be thinking about these kind no. of things. No, she ain't. She's a kid. Right. She's probably what, 12, 15, 14, 14 or years old. She's a kid. She didn't she didn't ask for this. And 
Now, it's, Deacon, it's, Deacon, 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 Deacon. Now, let's look at it from, like, like, a, like we just said, these children weren't created by themselves. The mama didn't create the, ch the, ch the children alone. The man's not there. The man made mistakes, and the mama made mistakes. Those arranged marriages looking pretty good right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, now imagine these brought the, the the father and the mother were groomed to be married as one flesh. Imagine that. Now, how would those children? What would be the results of that with these children here now? Instead of now you going on your own lust, you doing your own thing. You you now you're living in you're going from house to house couch, couch surfing with two children, two grown children now. Going to food bank, getting struggling to get to the food bank. You understand? So we have to get back to God's laws. We it, there's no there's no way around it. We're going to continue yeah. in, this, in this current condition until we get back. Because and also too to the topic we began with, we talk about a pre, uh, arranged marriages, right? Mm -hmm. Arranged marriages would end the single parenting, right? Where the sister has to fend for herself. Right. Because uh, I mean, no bishop tells uh, brings up the story, and oh, oh, a lot of us, you you know, you didn't have much, your wife didn't have much. But when y'all came together, y'all put y'all little pieces together to make something. My she bought the potatoes, yogurt. you bought the chicken, and and y'all had French a meal. French fries and chicken, yeah, exactly. we good. Y'all y'all had a meal, but when and it just brings back to my memory how this person was like, oh, I can't do a prearranged marriages. Well. This is the result of, of doing it on your, your own. own tank. Yes. I, I, that's, that was my point. I want to say something. That was too. my point. Right. So Mike. that's a, okay. With this situation, <laughs> right? Um, she, the mother don't even have family because she's saying she's staying with friends. Where's her father? Where's her mother? Right. So if it was a arranged marriage, say, say that, say that that was, uh, that is our um, heritage, right? And that's been going on and on and on, and people been arranging marriages and things of that nature. So when they did fall on hard times, guess what? Both families would have mm -hmm. helped them out. Helped them out because the, they wouldn't have let they them um, lose their home. The, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it's been a generation where the bloodlines have been matching up and, yeah. and yeah. building a nation, that would have never occurred. And you know, you even know, if they lost their job, you know what's funny is that Esau, when their children get married, do you know, you know, they have the weddings and all that stuff, but Esau, I know Esau and Elam does this. Yep, I was about to say. The family will gather money together. Yes, yep, 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 yep. Give them like 25 grand yeah, as a wedding more, present. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, sometimes they yeah. purchase homes for them. Yes, so yeah. that's usually a down payment for a home, mm -hmm. usually. Yeah, right. But... The, the, like you mentioned, the family understands the importance of working collectively. Right. But Not black your folks. Joe Bidens, your Kamala Harris's, <laughs> they have destroyed family structures. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm. So then there's no working. In, like the brother said, in the, in the prison, he says, your grandfathers, you ain't never going to see them again. Right. Because whatever appeals they're working on, she's going to shut it down. Yeah. Yep. Right. Because she has to admit she's done wrong. Right. And she's not going to do, do that. She locked up 1,700 brothers. Yeah, you remember Trump was letting them out. Trump was, Trump was letting a lot of them out a couple of years ago. People yeah. who had those, absorbed those super hot things. He was like, ah, you know, you did so much of time. Are you... And he but got a lot of backlash people, for that. He got a people. lot of backlash. A lot of people was mad that he was mad to poke out. <laughs> but black people don't like that because he's loud and he's boisterous. Right. You know why black Whereas, people don't like it, Cap? Because huh? Al Sharpton knew what and telling them Trump was doing it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Al, the the so called like what we you, you read in Ezekiel. The, the the shepherds weren't looking they, out for, for the, the flock. So right. they wasn't telling the people, no, there are things implemented, money implemented, there's money set aside for black business, there's money set aside for this. He's letting out the brothers, even though they said, okay, Obama made the plan, but Obama didn't never implement, implement it. it. He right. never enacted anything. Trump got there and was like, yeah, we're going to do this. So we started letting out yeah, like yeah. super, super high charges, like drug offenses. Yeah. Trump started letting them out. Guess what? Nobody's Nobody going. Heard about that. Right, nobody's going. Trump letting y'all brothers out of jail. Trump letting your brother who got 25 years and none did 15. Trump letting them out of jail. The shepherds not they not coming out right. and and right. and saying no. This is what 
this man is doing. Uh, this is good for our community. They not saying that, so therefore you go off of MSNBC, CNN, ABC. But Kat, the funny part was you can't say nothing that Trump really said about black people except the Central Park Five. If you really go and look at what he said, he never said nothing like, you, but you he's, he's a non-politician and he's loud and he's boisterous yeah, yeah, he's, and he's yeah, a racist right, right. and he's out in the open. Whereas Biden is a, he's going to smile at you. He's going to lie to you in your face with a smile. He's going to be passing policies with his buddies mm-hmm. behind your right. back yes. to lock up your daddies and your, and your, and your, your, your kinfolk. Right. That's that's what we like. That's right. We like right. being lied to. Yeah, we do. Oh, right. We, like, we we hate so reality. Words. That's we what we were talking about earlier, right? So it, with Trump made it so that the HBCUs have permanent funding. Nobody cares about that. Nobody takes that time to say. He made sure that black colleges are paid for. Okay, yeah, you might have to have a, a certain amount of white kids go there. It's paid for now. You know what I'm saying? Whereas with the black president made you come back every year to reapply for, 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 for your forbearance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hey, know what I'm saying? For, for hey, that's crazy. I want to go back to I don't want to mix. You guys mixing the subjects. Sorry. Let's go back to the tape. The, the homeless. Uh, the homeless. The homeless so. thing. The yeah, you guys maybe forget my thought. Oh. This is what we in IUIC try to stop. And we're going to stop it. This, these homes, no fathers, these homeless uh, 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 women, single sisters with their kids in the street. We should not have that in IUIC. We should not have that in Israel, period. That's why we're trying to tell your sisters, some of you got a big, big, big mouth. You drove the men out of the house. And don't want to admit it. You don't admit it. And you're going to end up like that. Hmm. You're going to end up like that. You don't know how to, you don't know how to submit. You don't know how to humble yourself. Listen, you go, here you are, you have a man in the house. The blood is working. The blood is taking care of the family. She might sit in her fat, fat, Big fat Baha'i, bon don't bon. do nothing. Bonbon. Bonbon. Bon. Bon bon. Bon bon. But you disrespecting this man. You argue with him. You complain about everything. In reality, he's the one who's taking care of the family. So what, what I'm saying is, this is what this is the result. Mm-hmm. Of for, for some, because some of your sisters are selfish. You don't, you don't even think about the kids. It's about me, 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 me. It's not about you. You got, you got kids to worry about. This is what in IUIC we, we're telling you. And, and this is also go for your sisters who want to be wife number two, Uh-oh. wife number three, Uh-oh. wife Uh-oh. number four. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is the result right there. Because a couple, of, I think a couple of years ago, we met a sister in Atlanta who was teaching. Mm-hmm. She used to be with GMS. Yep. And I, I she just used sent you that video, Kat. She morning. used to be wife number three, three or four. Number three. One of them. Wow. And... That slept on the floor. The and brother yeah. make her yeah. slept on the floor, and he has a he have a wife, he have a my wife. Yes. Lord and he make the either my wife sleep in the bed. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. Is, I'm a, I'm and those call and they, and they call themselves Israelite. I'm gonna repose that for y'all. They call themselves Israelite. This this is I'm t- yo, <laughs> listen, we, y'all gotta say we make that up. Hey, will you get the video? Yeah, 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 yeah. Send the video to Kidon. <laughs> y'all gotta say we make that up. But we, we don't know The sister the was in our camp and she no, was telling us. She was telling us. What's happened at, the, at this camp? So when we in IUIC, we say, "Hey, the Bible said one wife." That's what the Bible said. That's what we're gonna go by. So your sister's like, "Nah, nah, I would, I would rather have." Uh, 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 we go through the sister wife uh, thing. We go through the sister. <laughs> so now you be, get, it's gonna be a collective. Yeah, now you got an idiot who used to a dummy used to be with us. Now he's in he's on social media and I'm talking about oh I, I just got myself another wife. Oh, you I'm, mean a traitor I, that used to uh, be with I'm us? I'm good. No, brother, you got yourself another hoe. And your wife and you wife that been with you for so long Freaking and agree to this. Guy. She's a dummy. She's an idiot. <laughs> she's a big big dummy. This is what you call a a a woman with uh. She don't she don't your wife don't low love se- herself. Low self low esteem. esteem. Your wife got very low self esteem. Yes, I'm talking to you, Mark Thomas. <laughs> you have got very little self-esteem to accept you bringing out a hole to the house. 
And he's not even your house. Damn. And they're not in men's house. So he surfing. He, 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 he couch surfing. Yep. <laughs> yep. So, yes, yeah, so, well, so what that means is... They stay it, focused on the term. There is, there is a level of depression with his children being in another man's house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Huh. Go ahead. You got that little part? I just want that little it's part. Also, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Play it. Hmm. You don't know why not? You just left just because of um, what? It's too much to explain, but... Give me a, give me a short detail. I just love the truth. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Yo guys know this Captain Shaman got, got hair. He got hair, yeah. I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Full bleed black. <laughs> oh, man. That's and his beard ain't gray. Yeah, yeah. I don't like to fake stuff. They were doing too much. They were controlling the slave. They were slavery in GMS? What, can, can you give us an example? Stop. No. The sister said there's slavery in GMS. Wow. Damn. <laughs> slavery in GMS. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> You don't have to put it this, but I had a I uh, I got a phone call. I think it was a year ago, a year and a half ago. Yes, I think it was a year and a half ago. A sister called me. She said, "I've been with another. I am with another camp. I'm uh, I am wife number five. Mm-hmm. Yes, listen to this. She said, "I am wife number five. She said, "I want to leave that camp. I want to leave. I want to come to IYC. Mm-hmm. I said. Sis, we don't, I don't have a problem with you come to IRC. However, if you come to IRC, you cannot get another husband for a long, long time. She go, why not? That's not my husband. I say, sis, yes, it is. You, Jen, you just say you have number five? She tried, then she tried to convince me. She just, she just know IRC is teaching one, man, one wife. I say, sis, you a liar. I said, listen, as a matter of fact, I think IYC, we're the only one who's teaching one wife. Mm-hmm. I said, then she said, because I know she wasn't sincere. You know how I know she wasn't sincere? Because when I said to her, you, have, you, have, you cannot get married, because if the brother left, say the brother call us, the brother say, hey, you got my wife. We're going to have to let you, you have, you have to go. She said, oh, now why not? Why can't I get another husband? He, he's not really my husband. I have no people who could have. I said, sis, but you agree to be wife number five. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's your husband. We didn't make that up. You don't know really agree to it. And you've been, and he was with that dude for three years. Mm. You agreed to share you, STDs. Yes, for three with, years. With, with a man and his other uh, sister host. Exactly. So you're not going to come in IYC talking about, going to talk, t- thinking we're going to allow your brother to come so he can destroy the brother. In other words, she want to come here so he can destroy your brother. Mm. We're not going to allow that. That ain't going to happen. Stay, well, stay, you black behind, right where you are. Especially after you agree to be this man's wife. Wife number five. So the point is, what you just say about that sister with the homeless, that's the result. And we and IYC, that's what we try to stop, but your guys hate our guts for trying to stop it. Do you know what else that video made me think about? For real? Just really having a nation. Because like we already, we, we read it in the scripture before, and even if it was for tithing or what was at the storehouse of the Lord, there was, we, the Lord had already set up things in place for that situation. Say mm-hmm. something happened where that sister was married and her husband died and she had those two kids. Guess what? You could go to the temple. You could go get food. You can go get what you need. The Lord has stuff set up. If something happened to your, your husband, you could go back to your dad's house and, you know, do these things. And it made me think like, wow, we really don't have a nation. We don't have any of these things set up no, for tragedy like that. No. Because if you, if you go up the street from here, there's an Elam temple. Mm-hmm. Right up yeah. the street. Mm-hmm. Anybody ever notice that they have a big oh, apartment back right apartment inside. complex yeah. in the back of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because, the, by the parking lot. Yeah. Right, because so I uh, uh, one of the uh, I know one of the Elamites and he goes there and I asked him what's that for? And I mean I knew but I wanted to hear him say it. And it's for when they people come here, if they don't have everything they need, they have 
those units of apartments where you come, you live here, you, it helps you get situated, it helps you establish a job, it helps Damn. you get all of this stuff set up so that you're able to transition from these something. apartments to something stable. So guess what? You're not couch surfing. The they nation already got something set up for them. When you come here, you come to the temple and you like, hey, I meet low my dot my gas station is not yet open, but I am hungry today. They like go in the back. You know, we got a two bedroom unit already. You mm. you you know, and I rolled past the other day, they drying their clothes and they hang and I said they have something set up for they people who don't have. Mm-hmm. And we have nothing, t- not all pray to the most high, over here, we doing that. We yeah, setting up food yeah, pantries. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We have stuff yeah. like that that's beginning to build. And I believe if we had more, we would be the ones saying, hey, let's build a apartment complex. Right, yeah. right. Guess what? You want to live in an apartment complex? Guess what you got to do? You got to work at the school. You got to make sure the stuff around yeah. here is maintained. But guess what? When you on your feet and ready to go, we just pray, uh, Officer Kamala, that one day most I got blessed I see with something like that where we can have not only here in this state of Georgia, but we can have it in every state. Right. right. Where when we can have things set up, like you said, when our people in need, they can just come in and say, hey, we can have a place. We say, hey, mm-hmm. here's the key. Uh, you can stay here for as long as you want. Just get yourself together. Right. Get a job. And after that, you move out. Get, uh, let somebody else come. You know, stuff like right. that. And we keep doing that. But at least they have a place where they can... Until they get in their feet. And stabilize. And stabilize, exactly. I pray one day most I got blessed or something like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, We're blessed. not there yet, but <laughs> we, we working the upwards to most high. We're working towards that. Most I bless us, we're working towards that. Shout out to the food pantry, keeping everybody fed on those. Again, great box last night. <laughs> <laughs> Coming through. Okay. Hey, so now y'all know where the money goes. Since y'all, since uh, uh, folks like, is uh, putting uh, financials online and all that stupidness, but <laughs> but, but, but then another thing, mm-hmm. um, Deacon, because I've had three situations: um, one in the truth and two outside of the truth for different circumstances that have caused me to be displaced. And you can have a job, working, going to work every day, not on drugs, nothing. And stuff can happen. So another good thing, you know, even though we're in the truth, not to get so high minded. Um, keep relationships with your family. Yeah, you know what S- I'm saying. Sister, like, can you say that again, please? Like, keep relationships with oh, your oh, family. Oh, hold on. Didn't we tell you not to break away and separate from your worldly family? Didn't Listen, we tell you that? Yes, I don't know where people did we, get did we that tell from. You that? Nobody. Yeah, oh, I don't okay. know where they get that from because, like, the situations now. I know that I can honestly, because I have come to IUIC for light bills and different things, and you guys have helped me with no problem. But I was able to go to, like, my family, my sons. Now, they remember, yeah, when you got my dough kicked by DeKalb County, and I was displaced. So, you know, since I've been in this truth, I've had situations where I was displaced. Last year, my sons paid for me to go to Tabernacles, rented me a truck, gave me money to spend. This year, same thing. And again, because I was going through that domestic situation, I stayed one entire year with my sons, the 26-year-old and the 21-year-old. And I didn't have to pay. You know, I cooked. They want me to cook. So cook and clean. And then you they put your little bricks in. I put my bricks in. Yes. But, you know, and even mm-hmm. now in the apartment that I'm in, they put me in the apartment because, you know, they couldn't smoke the weed freely. Like, you know, we sick of you. But they put me in an apartment and they paid my rent for the past five months. So, again, and then my son's in the world. Mm. You know, no I'm so happy. I'm, glad I'm, I'm so happy you said what you said. This got some sense. Yes. Let me tell you something. I got to say this. Bring it out. Because I got phone calls about this. Bring it out. Your brothers and sisters, IUIC never said, I don't know where you guys got this from. Their own brain. We never said, turn you back on your family. Right. We ne- I don't know where you guys got this from. How does that let your light shine, deep when you do that? I don't know. But some of you, you cut your whole family off. Some of Listen, you just idiots, man. Yeah, some of you just, idiots. just big dummies. Let me tell you something, right? My mom is not a believer. Okay. I talk to her almost every day. That's my mom. What you mean to say? What you mean to do? Right. She's not a believer, but mm-hmm. I still talk to her. So you think I'm going to be like, oh, because you don't believe, I don't want to talk to you no more. Stop it. Stop. Right. Stop. What are you talking about? My wicked brother yesterday for Sabbath, he, uh, he returned, a, I call him Wednesday because my mom called, my mom come and say, hey, he, that's the, my older brother, the one who live in Miami. Mm-hmm. My mom come and say, hey, I, I tried to call your brother. The phone, I don't know if his phone cut off, but find out what's going on. So I call him. 
he didn't pick up. So when he didn't pick up, I know he at work because he cannot talk at his job. So I call my mom back. I say, oh, he probably at work. He returned my call yesterday. Even the Sabbath, I had to answer him because I didn't know what was going on. So I asked. So he said, no, nah, I was at work. Blah, blah, blah. So I said, okay, I'll talk to you later. But he didn't, because I ain't faced for that, I mean, I booked the Sabbath. Right. <laughs> That's a little breakdown. Damn, you can't accept phone calls at, yeah. from somebody at work. Yeah. <laughs> so because he's in the world, this is the Sabbath. I'm not going to talk to him because he's in the world. Stop it. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Yeah, that's what, I B- just, that's what BBC hey, said. They I said, just uh, told his sister that the other day. Mm. I said, sis, if you work in an office, the white man building, this is not your office. Right. The white man give you a desk. Mm. If the white man come inside that office for the Christmas tree, you got no business to the white man take, his, take the Christmas tree out. I said, business. by you sitting there, this is your job. So because the white man put a Christmas tree in, in, uh, in your office, you work in the law. I said, what the hell have to do with you? Oh, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with us? I said, that had nothing to do with you. I said, as a matter of fact, he can put that damn thing in the desk. That's not my desk. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my desk. I put my earphones on. He just happened. Exactly. He said, he said, hey, he said, again, he's a computer. My job is to every day come work on that computer. Whatever you want to put in that desk, that's not my desk. My, you know where my desk is? My desk is at my house. Right. right. That desk in my house, that's mine. That's what you bought. Yes, that's what I bought my money. That's not right. your desk. You're not going to tell the white man, do not put Christmas tree on top of my desk. That's not your desk. That's the white man's desk. He give you a job, just do your job, go home. That's it. What is, I don't understand our people. And you, and you, you, bring, un, you bring a level of uncomfortableness to his kingdom. Yeah. yeah. And now, you gotta his kingdom. Kingdom. now you got to get So fired. the choice is, is yeah. you think he's going to live in uh, in discomfort mm-hmm. opposed right. to letting you go and bring in somebody to replace you that's going to be okay with yeah. what he's doing? Going to bring him a present. Look what I got you, boss. Mm-hmm. And you yeah, got some of our people losing job after job. I'm like, yeah. you guys are a bunch of idiots. When are you going to... The scripture say use wisdom. When are you going to start using wisdom? Yeah. But deep. Luke 16, 9 tell you to do that. Mm-hmm. It, but it tell you at the end, for when you fail, it tell you, make friends with these people. Yeah. When you fail, they're going to be the ones that yeah, receive that you. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. There's, there's a, a, I think it was like a maybe year or two ago. I don't know. I don't know what camp he's with, but the brother in the video, they did like a live and he had on fringes. He, con- I guess, conducted himself so well with his job. It was a bunch of Edomites. I guess he worked at like a dealership or something, a car dealership. And he he walked to work every day. He walked oh, a yeah, few I remember miles. That. Yeah, I remember that. He worked a few miles. He was never late. He always stayed extra, went the extra mile, right? They all, all these are mostly Edomites. Right, they right, all right, rallied right. together and yeah. bought him a car. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you have to be conducting Damn. yourself yeah. in a certain so way for them to do that. For them to even say, you know what? He works hard. He's respectful on the job. Yeah. He's not yeah. calling me the devil. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Let's do this for him. Cap, that, that go into when a man weighs please the Lord. Yes. You yes. make his Makes enemies to be at peace. Yes. Right, right, right. Guess what? Conducting yourself and knowing how to move around in this is guess what? It's pleasing to the Lord. Yes. He says use wisdom. Yes. Then that's pleasing to the Lord. Yes. Dummies. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know about our people. It's a hard thing for you. That's a Yo, hard thing. I don't thing know what's going on. Israel make everything That's so difficult. Yeah. You know, the law, the, the Bible gives you what to do. He's not gonna tell you exactly how to do it to your circumstance, but you look at it, you say, what would be wise in this circumstance? In this, exactly. Let me call him the devil. Exactly. <laughs> so hmm. my family, your family member they don't tell you to break. As long as they don't tell you to break the law. What is your problem? Mm-hmm. Right. And that's how I felt. Like you want to be boys, right. They get it. Like they that's see right. I'm committed. They see like I want to cook. Okay, well I'm in your apartment. I'm gonna cook for the men. I'm gonna make sure I leave enough for everybody here. I'm gonna clean up my mess. And they see. So hopefully, you know, I'm winning them because they see what well, damn she's sticking to it. Like okay, she really do wear her friends. She really do wear her dress. Like, and I'm I'm winning them over. Like you know exactly, sis. You know what? When me and Laba. Went to visit my mom, right? Let's say I call and say, hey, I'm going to come to see you. She said, then she said, she said, hey, you want me to cook? I said, okay. So you know what she did? She left all the stuff she cooked to show us to prove that there's no pork in it. Oh. Because she said, she said, oh, I know how you guys are. 
I know how your guys are. She <laughs> said, this is what I put in it, this is what I put in it. Blah, blah, blah. She's, it, because she said, she said, I already That's know your guys. She said, I know your guys don't eat no pork. I know you guys don't eat no shrimp, so I'm going to make sure. So you didn't, wa- you didn't walk, oh, you didn't, no you didn't walk no. in like, mama, you the no. devil, because no. I know you got some pork in no. that pot. No. Hey. <laughs> yes. I, indeed. No. I mean, I don't even like, again, when I first came into the truth, before I actually had the privilege to fellowship in the building, they saw me with the videos. I was showing different things, and they saw me. And then I just backed off. So now I just let them watch me. Like, I might see something that pertain. I send a video every now and again. When I'm mm. not in Facebook jail, I share stuff. And when, if they see it, they receive it all praises. But I don't even mess with them no more. Again, I'm just walking my little walk. And you know my son, like, I called. Oh, yeah, my your son, son talked to me. I, he talked to me when he came. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, like and they know I love you. you guys. Like, And I'm like, you know, and I tell them about, you know, the different men and different things. But I called them, hey, um, they didn't pay me my check or whatever. Can you give me a couple of dollars? I just need about 20 bucks for gas. My son brought me $60. I was like, yes. So I'm like, okay. That's came up. <laughs> she like, it's a problem. In other words, sis, what you're saying is they're not keeping you from keeping Musa. No. And they see you guys everywhere. Like, they'll see? see different people and they'll talk. Mm-hmm. I'm Sister Naomi's son. Da, 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 yeah. da. So again, I'm it's swaying them around. Yeah. They even see me talking to their dad. It's a Levi who I didn't son. Talk Her to son five Levi years. And you, and so you, they see it. You, you know what, too? Some of you burn bridges so bad yes. that your family may even have questions about the truth, yes. yep. but because of how you are, yep. they won't ask. Cal, Cal, because Cal. of your example, yes. they don't want to do nothing, have nothing to do with the Bible. <laughs> Cal, when I first started, when I first came in the truth and I tried to show my mom and I was that, you not getting it. And I ain't talked to my mom for probably a year, close to a year. And then as I got more, you know, experience. I was like, Mom, you know, I was wrong in how I approached you, mm, you know, X, good. Y, Z. So she was like, I thought you rejected me. I said, no, the scripture said at the second management reject. I said, I wasn't rejecting you. I thought I was doing this. To, you know, long story short, now my mom, she don't keep no commandments like that. But guess what? She, she'll go, man, all praise to the most high. I'd be like, what you talking? You know, yeah. in my head, but, you know, and I went to Savannah and she told my auntie, you know, she was like, oh, it's Saturday. He not going to come over there and he mm-hmm. not going. They're like, well, we cook telling he could come eat. She said, she told, he not going to eat that. Mm-hmm. It got this thing. It got, he's not going to eat that. Yeah. You know, and, but, and it's so she knows where you stand. Yeah. She, she knows where that. I am. And she left and moved back to Savannah like a week ago. She left from up here and moved. And she called me the other day and she sent me like $400. She's like, because you don't ask for nothing. You've been nice. Mm-hmm. You know, this, here, here's some money. Uh, you know, and so I know you, y'all. So you would think Alicia's balling. You she see that thing? Nah. <laughs> she got 60. You got 400. <laughs> look, look I, she saw her house. She was like, I got some I got some racks. I'm finna spend some money. And she was like, I know you fixing your house. I was like, yeah. She was like, okay, all praise. Yeah, I'm telling you, you use wisdom. Yeah. This is for your dummies out there. Yeah. Yeah, stop being dumb. <laughs> stop being dumb. Dummies, stop being dumb. Yes. Dumb, dumb. Don't be dummies dumb, your whole dumb. life. Your whole life. Not your whole life. <laughs> My daddy said, hey, here come the bank account. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm going to say, oh, no, I don't want the bank account because you're the devil. I don't take your money. I don't want no devil money. It's a, and by the way, especially your single sisters with kids, man. Stop, stop being stupid. If your mom tried to help you, let her help you. Yeah. yeah. The if your father tried to help you. help you, let them help you. Yeah. Stop, yeah. stop being a dummy. There, there was a situation where uh, 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 mo- like a, the, the mother was going to help the sister. And by babysitting her daughter, mm. right? For free. I got you. I got you. That's my granddaughter. I'm yeah. gonna help you. You ain't keeping the commandments. I'm gonna find a babysitter. Wow. Mm. So wait. Mm. Mama's not is not trying to put your daughter in pants, not trying to teach her Christmas because she knows where you stand. Just like just like you just went over. Instead of letting Grandma watched it, your daughter. You can now save that hundred and fifty, mm-hmm. hundred and seventy dollars a week. A week. Mm-hmm. More than that. To, <laughs> to, 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 because she was staying with the, the the grandmother. She was. They were living there. She got upset about something Grandma said. Moved her and her daughter out somewhere uncertain of where they're gonna really be, and said, "You can't watch my daughter anymore. I'm gonna find a babysitter." Like, what is wrong with you? You know, yeah. you know, Cap. That's can I add something to what you just said? I mean, it's really if you if you move in with your mom, you're saying this to say with kid. You move in with your mom. First of all, that's not your house. For real. I want to make it clear. That's not your place. 
If your mom decides to get up on the side of the cook, shut the hell up. Yeah. So you just don't eat it. Right. You just you stay do, in your room. Or keep leave. the laws. Do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Stop. Do not tell your mom. Oh, mommy, you cannot do this. And then you got mad. You move out. That's not your house. Stop. Stop. Yeah. That's not your house. All points to more side. She allow you to move in with her because you're going through some hard time. Stop being so simple. Some of you simple is hell. Simple as hell. Stop being so simple. Do what you gotta do. Thanksgiving come in, you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. Do not tell the woman in, his, in her own house not to sell. Listen, just, just leave, leave the house. Take your daughter, go to her sister's house, spend some time. Right. After, later on that night, you come back. If you, because you don't wanna be part of it. But don't not tell people what to do inside their own house. Yeah. Just tell Mosai, all praise to Mosai, thank you, Lord, that you touched my mom yeah. to allow me and my kids to stay here right. and to I get at my feet. But some of you so stop being stupid. I'm sick and tired of bro, you know how many phone calls I got about this thing? And stop. And that's why we, we usually open the school for like wicked Thanksgiving, wicked Christmas, Christmas, and have something for brothers and sisters to come to the school and do because we know how it is. Some of y'all live with y'all with unrepented family. Yeah. So right. in order not to be tempted and right. be around that, listen, I'm going go to school, go to school with brothers and sisters yeah, right. and enjoy their company. You see what I'm saying? Right. We're going to do that this this Thanksgiving. We're going to open the school. You guys come in. And we, 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 we suggest all the school open. Yeah. You guys yeah. come in. Yeah. If you guys want to place to get away, come in the school and chill out with us. Y'all could do have spades tournaments. Do, yeah. do whatever. Do because whatever. It's, it's not yeah. a high holy day. Yeah. Right. It's, it's Esau's just our day. It's, it's just day. a day it's to get out. away from yeah. it. Yeah. Just, it's just, we open the school. Get away from the family so yeah. you don't have to tempt it without a conceiving it's, crap. Especially yeah. some of the younger mm -hmm. congregation members. You got a lot of young brothers that's 20, 21, right. still live with their parents. Young sisters still live with their parents, but they come to the school. Guess what? That's a place for them to come where the family's not pressuring them. Why are you not eating? Because it's, it's one thing. Your parents will know where you stand. Mm. But now you got uncles in town. They don't know. Auntie in yeah. town. Now you got to try to explain and every that. every one of them is going to be coming to you. What you went to? We ain't raised you like and, that. And, and, you and they're they're, they're going to mock. They're going to mock. <laughs> yeah. gonna mock. That mock. brother's going to feel discouraged to keep the commandments. Yeah, so all you all you IUIC schools, make sure you, you yeah, all yeah, have yeah. something going on on these wicked holidays, especially the Christmases. The, the way family get together, yeah, Christmases, right Thanksgiving, the New Year's, all of that stuff. We're gonna yeah. open the school. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and go ahead, go ahead, make the last thing. I'll just say one more thing, then we're gonna shut down okay. because it's twelve. And something that you could do um, for for your family, right? You know, in the world, you you people did Christmas cards and things. Mm -hmm. Why not on Hanukkah or Feast of Dedication or something of that, that nature, you take a picture of your family, put happy Hanukkah, happy Feast of Dedication, happy right, Tabernacles right, right, and right, send right. them that. Let them know that you are um, the real Jew. Yes, you yeah, celebrate yeah, in the yeah. real high holy idea. days and things of that nature. It's funny because y'all talking about that. When my brothers call me and things, they it's, it's so weird to hear them saying shalom on the phone. Yeah. Wow. You know, oh, and they yeah. They, because that's how the girls talk to them. Shalom, uncle. Da, 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 da. It's just funny to hear that, but that means yeah, I hear it too. I hear it too. That's that's um, that's, that's, that's it's Willie. That's, that's um, <laughs> then because when you let your light shine, your your family start um, gleaming little right. things. My my brother called me and be like, I seen your brothers because he he lives in Tampa and he works mm. in Ybor City. So Orlando used to go and teach, mm. right, or at night in Tampa. And he'd be like, I seen your brothers. I said, when you gonna go up there and talk yeah, to him? Yeah, like okay. that. He was like, nah. I was like, no, just tell him that you are your own sister. Yeah. And he was like, they don't know you. I said, trust me. Yeah. You know. Trust me. Trust me. They bells in these streets, son. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but he sees, he sees the purple shirts and he'll call and be, I mean, every time they go, he'll be like, I seen your brothers. And that's what he called y'all, my brothers. He was like, I know they, they having a meeting because he came up um, one time when we was, the last time we had Passover in Orlando, mm -hmm. he drove all the way because he wanted to see his nephews and nieces. And he said, I see your brothers all day over there talking about taking over the world. I said, we show sure large. I mean, that's their little thing. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they be like joking. Yeah, yeah they, they they plot to take over. The world. I said, we show sure large. When you want to come? You yeah, know, okay. but he want to be a whore. He yeah, like, always, you know. always. <laughs> hey, hey, before we go, though, I do I do want to make something clear. Your, your sisters, if you're going to leave your kids with your parents, just make sure they know where you stand. Yeah. In other yeah. words, 
Yes, they sir. know that not to give the kids pork, yes. not to, you know, just make sure, or, or to make it better, bring the food for the kids yourself. Right. It's that simple. Yes, bring the food. <laughs> what? I said it's just that simple. Yeah, it's bring just that simple. Food. Bring the change of clothes. Yeah, bring the change happen. of clothes. <laughs> bring the food. Because some of you were with, she might feed my kids pork. No, just bring the food. Just cook the food and make sure you bring it and say, Mom, this is the food. This is lunch. This is dinner. I'm going to work. I'll be back this time. You don't and have to cook for her. I already got everything. That's, that's so simple. And, and if the child asks the ask the granny, hey, what's that on your plate? And it's some pork. Don't feed the kid the pork. <laughs> you know, you got you to you put that out there. Some pork too, sausage. You want piece? Oh, you want piece of pork sausage? Here you go, baby. Yeah, but if you teach if you teach your kids, they'll be like, no, we don't eat that. Right. You know? Because I remember Bishop was telling a story. Bishop was telling us a story about that. How he was on uh, his older his older kids. He had to tell them, "Hey, keep eyes on grandma, so you don't feed them uh, pork. their their little one pork." But even yeah. my granddaughter, and I know we got to go. Um, her mom, of course, is not in the truth, and I've been keeping her since my son is incarcerated. Again, I buy her dresses. So she got dresses to wear. But her mom got respect. Like, she know when she bring her over, she's wearing dresses. Mm. I might see her on the internet and she might have pants on. But when she bring it to me, she got on dresses. If her mom don't have on a skirt, she's standing at the door. Mm. Like, she know what it is and she got respect for it. And I get to get the baby. And it's okay. So, again, you got to be respectful. Are you calling her all kind of wicked? No. 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 So, yeah. No, no. When she do little stuff, like, she, she was playing some music. I was like, listen, you got to be mindful of little mama. Because, you know, I have her around sisters and stuff, and she's like, I know, I know. But again, I don't force nothing on her to keep that door open because she saw me coming to the truth. You know what I'm saying? So she saw me. Yeah, she saw the change. Like, she know, like, you know, the one with the broom. So she did it. So, <laughs> hey, again. Hey, you know some of these kids go to grandma and tell, tell grandma, you're wicked. Grandma, you got to take the pants off. Grandma, you're not supposed to wear no pants, grandma. Yeah. You know some of these kids do that. Kids, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Some of them say, hey, grandpa, why are you, why are you cutting your beard? Why are you shaving your beard, grandpa? You know right. the Bible said that's evil, grandpa. But guess what? That cut harder than you saying. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Hey, that thing, that thing, yeah, that thing yeah, cut yeah. my mama hard, boy. I was like, ooh, she was, <laughs> you leaking on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> but even, but even when you deal with people in the world, like the barber cut the, one of my um, boys' hair by mistake because they had three different barbers and trying to look out for him because he didn't want to get his hair cut. He put a line in his hair. Mm. So I didn't say nothing, you know, while everything was going on. I waited to after and I was like, hey, listen, I don't know if you know this, but if you ever see somebody with fringes, we don't cut into our hair. And I showed him in the Bible. He was like, okay, well, I'm sorry. I said, no, I know you did it out of love, looking out because he was upset about getting his hair cut. So it's not a problem. And we're going to come back. I just want to let you know. Don't do that no more. Don't do it no more. That's it. That's it. Again, nobody. You see how you do it. Some people are like, don't do that to my son no more. Oh, come make on. A, make a whole show. Yeah, make yeah. a whole show. You see that? That's yeah, yeah. called wisdom. We got to go. <laughs> all right, all praises, all brothers. Praises. Get the Lord a hand for that class, man. Get the Lord a hand for that show. That's classic right. PSR. Right I know y'all learned something this week. That was classic patient Yeah, that was a classic PSR. Anyway, brothers and sisters, we have a school here in Riverdale, Georgia 691, Highway 138 in Riverdale. Come down, come learn, come get with these brothers, come get with these sisters. We got online classes three times a day, seven days a week for absolutely free at IUIC Classrooms on Facebook and Israel United in Christ on Periscope. We also have donate. You could give, you could donate to the body via PayPal at IUIC.Atlanta at IsraelUnite.org. For the Booster Club, you could donate via PayPal at iuic.fundraising at israelunite.org. Hey, uh, we want to thank the blood. This is the man behind the senior guys cannot see that's make this possible. Uh, Officer Elasha, Officer Kidan, Officer Zedenai, Officer Nichomai, Officer Adino, Officer Kenenai, Officer Zakar, Soldier Mahalalil, Soldier Matthias. <laughs> I, every time I say Zakar, these people will laugh. It's a call. So funny man. Nehemiah. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course, your brothers and sisters at home, I love you, we love you, we love you, because we could not have done this without you. Uh, we with your comments. That's why you see I keep picking my phone, because I'm reading your comments. I'm going back and forth on Facebook and uh, YouTube. YouTube. Because mm. I like reading the comments, see exactly what your guys say. Because a lot of time when you guys, you guys, believe it or not, sometimes I go by what you guys said and I just add to it. Right. So that's why I see I keep picking up my phone. So we love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for 
laughing at uh, common like common like corny jokes. Hey, somebody yeah, said. Welcome. Hey, I just read a comment. Somebody said that brother Kamalai, man, he's got a lot of comments, and he's just a nutcase, but he's he's really <laughs> smart. <laughs> he just look crazy. Yeah, he look crazy, but he's really smart. Uh, oh, the sisters that provide breakfast for us, sister. Bazia. Bazia from the house of Soldier Joseph. So, so Joseph, yeah. So Joseph and Sister Samara. 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 I don't know why they got it wrong. Like, so hey, Mary. Is Sister Samara still single? Yes, she, she is. Single. She says Samara still single, yeah, brother. We're we going to work on that. She's uh, 40. I believe about 47. Mm -hmm. About 47. Seven. That's, a, that's a nice sister right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very, very nice sister. sister. Very lovely very sister. Very Absolutely. Very lovely sister. All right, Israel, we love you. Shalom. 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 We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.